and he is going to get us underway. Big break. Has he got a ball? No. Keep an eye on that as the match goes on. Race to seven here in the semi-finals. 50 minutes on that match clock as it has been all the way. Yeah, and that's going to be the difference between winning and losing this match is the break. Both players ultra-talented, ultra-successful, but it all comes down to the break. Yellow Straight away there you can see Tom's going for yellows. There's nothing really difficult apart from the yellow next to the eight ball. Difficult ball to access. He's got some balls around it to use. Yeah, I can't see it causing too many problems because it does go in the top left-hand corner pocket. Tom may choose to get rid of the top two yellows, but it's closest to. Then go down table. I think that would be my route. a little bit hampered but that really shouldn't cause him any problems it does look like he's going around this w without moving the yellow and he's going to take it long yeah I think he has to do really he's probably going to stun this dead or roll the cue ball to the bottom cushion well, that's not great he could have done with a little bit of angle just to get closer to that yellow you don't expect him to miss but he's going to be very straight on this yellow in the top corner pocket well, he's going for this, the centre pocket. And again, he's, he's not perfect. Needed that cue ball off the cushion. Digging down, and these are missable. You don't expect Tom to miss it. And it just fell in. Perfect on the eight ball. Very good start for Top Cat. Oh, this time right down the, the centre exactly as he wants it but I'm, I'm with you and we've seen that throughout the tournament that it can the cue ball isn't as controlled as as others but this time it is perfect yeah good break there from Tom lots of power straight up and down the middle of the table at first glance you would have to say he's got to go yellows simply because of the red on the left hand side cushion but would you be thinking just double out the only one that's slightly awkward? Or would you be tempted to move? Well, that's not a bad shot. But he may have to play... The, he can play the double on the yellow that's tied up. But he may choose to play the, the plant and then try and knock it out after this one. So what you're saying is get the yellow just to be a, 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 a slightly further down, make it easier to just play the cannon? Yeah, you just want the, 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 the yellow that is hitting you want it slightly lower than the one that he's, he's making just to leave that angle to knock the other yellow out and oh. you can see there he's hit the wrong side of the yellow so now this has gone a little bit difficult but he has had a little bit of a result there because he can play that yellow off the other yellow in the middle pocket if need be yeah you saw his frustration straight away raise the raise the queue up quickly so it was never planned but has alternatives. Yeah, and I think for me he's got to play the double. He has to leave the double. He'd love to get on it now. When you play the double, it's always an advantage to play the double when you've got more yellows on the table or, you know, your object balls on the table. That's a poor shot there from Tom. He's a good couple of balls short of pace. He needs to be higher up the table. Yeah, and he's certainly second favourite now to clear this table. Do you think he can hit this hard enough to straighten it, or is it way too off? No, oh, he's going for the one over the middle. I think he's going to cannon the red and leave no shot. Like so. Three ball plant. 
Good luck with this. Yeah, <laughs> have some of that. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a poor shot there from Tom. And, you know, poor judgment, really, because if you over it, the last ball, not the last one he potted, but the last positional shot, he would have definitely had a double, but he under it the shot. We left, he, he left no shot. And now he's in deep trouble. A couple of poor positional shots in this one, because well, the getting the angle on the one when he played the plant over the middle. So just a couple of sort of half mistakes have led himself into this really tricky spot now. Yeah, this is tough. This is real tough for Tom here. May choose to tie the red up. Well, that's a real poor shot. That is an absolute nothing shot there from Tom. He's basically gave Carl this frame. One little soft stun shot here for his red that is next to the one that he's potting, and this frame's over. So you're thinking that that's such long odds making that just tie them up and ask a question of Carl? Yeah, even tie them up or have a go. Uh, don't play the shot he's played because it's a nothing shot. You know, he's obviously he's obviously tried to make something work, but Carl has got absolutely nothing to do with these. This is a stun, stun, stun. And this will hurt Tom because he should be 2-0 up. One poor positional shot. And that's all she wrote. Shot there by Carl. Nice little soft stun shot for the eight ball into the centre pocket. Well, he's over screwed that a little bit, but it shouldn't cause no problems. A bit of a gift for Carl Boys, but he gladly takes it. You know, and he was 3 2 up, I believe, but let's have a look at Carl's break again. He does it then well off his hand. Change the break immediately oh, for Carl. Break, that is. Wow, how do you like them? Just look at them reds. And the reason I say reds is the bottom right hand corner, there's a red close to it, and the yellows don't really pass. So for me, Cal has to go reds. Would you be tempted to do the reds at the bottom first? The reason I say that because of where the eight ball is, you could be getting onto it from the top end easier than the bottom. No, I'd pop the one over the pocket here and screw back a little bit further than where he is. He wants to land to the right-hand side of the red, just so he's got a nice angle to stun over for the red on the left-hand cushion. And he's over at this one by a long way. He's going to have to play the one in the bottom right-hand corner pocket. Shouldn't be a problem, but he'd love to have a nice angle on that one that is closest to now. And he hasn't, so he has to take the one in the bottom right hand corner, put the red next, next to the eight ball next, and screw past the eight ball to leave a nice angle to get on his final red. May choose to top this, but it has to leave this basically in between the eight ball and where the yellow ball is just to the above it to the right. Would love to be a half ball bang in between where where we're talking about. Well, that's no good. He's been lucky there because if he was straight on that red, it wasn't easy. The way he played that would suggest he was trying to get flat on the cushion, but somewhere just below the middle pocket and not move the eight ball. Yeah, now he's got to play this with a bit of pace, so this has to be more accurate. The softer you hit these shots, the more chance there are of going in, but now he's got to play this with a bit of pace. Makes the pot more difficult, but I do expect Cal to get this. Great shot. Could have done with another three or four inches so he could have just potted the red and stunned it dead now he's going to have to pot this red stun off the side cushion back across and find the gap not going to be easy and I like the way he's looking at this just give yourself a shot Carl is such a talented potter and a very natural at the game of pool that it shouldn't cause him a problem Well, it's come a little bit too far, but it was always better over it in that shot than under it in that shot because you've always got a shot the eight ball. If you're under it that shot, you can snook yourself. Oh, 
So good potting to can get himself out of that tricky area. Yeah, and Tom didn't catch them great. And at first glance, not quite sure which of the right balls. Maybe yellows. If the yellow goes off the red in, uh, sorry, off the eight ball in the middle, then he has to go for yellows. Simply because the red next to the eight ball doesn't go. Yellows do look quite inviting. Yeah, Cal may choose to pot this yellow in the corner and screw across, then play the yellow off the eight ball, simply because the yellow that goes past the red in the top pocket, it's a, it's a big target. Well, that's not where he wanted to be. It's not the worst case scenario, but he's gonna have to pot this off the eight ball. Well, he's choosing a different route. I'm not 100% sure of this route. We see Carl's at the table so he can see what he needs to do, but the longer he leaves them two yellows next to the eight ball, the more difficult this is going to get. I'm surprised to see him try and play the yellow above the eight ball, off the eight ball rather than the one below it. Thinking being if he plays the one below it, the eight ball probably goes into the yellow, but there's more chance of the yellow being on up the table than the one down the table. Well, the problem you've got with this shot is that the eight ball can get tied up and so can the yellow. Yeah. He has to play this with a bit of pace to get both balls away. He's going to be on the yellow in the opposite centre pocket. And that's why he's playing it this way. But he needs a little bit of luck here. Yeah, as you can see, yellow tied up. A little bit fortunate, to be fair. It's still tricky because the yellow to right centre, he's right on the cushion. He can't do too much with it. Well, what you might see here is Carl pot the yellow, run down towards the other yellow and play the double into the pocket where he's potting this yellow. Maybe wise to play that shot. Well, he's not hit it hard enough. That's what he's played for. He'd have loved to be dead straight on this, but now he's got a little bit of angle, a little bit of something to do. And he's gonna play position for his next yellow into the centre pocket. He needs to be careful. He has the double. Again, big pot a left. Bit short. A little it's bit short. You know, he's right, right in between everything here. He needed to hit that a little bit harder. If he lands straight on that yellow, then he's perfect. But he's going to have to pot this yellow off the side cushion, off the red, dead weight, and he'll be straight on the eight ball. As long as he misses the red, this is unmissable. He's got this. Very nice. Once again, Cowboys just digs himself out of a little bit of trouble he's put himself into. And if he tells you any different, then uh, I think he's telling you porkies. Because he's a, he's a born winner, is Cal. Another brilliant, powerful break. But, but no, it's not going to drop. It's going to be dry. Yeah, they, they didn't seem to break great there. A lot of power, but they didn't seem to split. They seemed to hit him the same way as the previous break. So yeah, Tom's had a bit of time sat in his chair to think about a couple of mistakes he's made. Now he's time to get back to work. Just look at these yellows. These yellows are absolute sitters. The eight balls are massive pocket, so that's not going to cause a problem. I'm very surprised if Tom doesn't play the yellow at the top end of the table, the one that's on its own, then play the one in the middle, one in the corner, top right, and then everything's quite simple. Well, he, he was running out of time, but same difference, really. He's totally fine. He can choose his pattern. 
Just wondering what, what ball he connects, the one to the top right, one furthest up the table now too. It feels like he needs to get a little bit of traffic out the way. Yeah, there's a little bit of problem, but... Well, that's a poor shot, that is. That is really poor from Tom. He should have been about two inches short there, so he had a perfect angle. He can pot this off the yellow in the middle, or he can pot the yellow straight in the middle pocket, but this is getting more difficult by the minute. And that was the problem. Potting that off the yellow has caused major issues. And all this has come about because his first shot, he was in a rush and he needed to play it quick. If you put the one in the top, which he did, then the one in the middle, one in the top corner, everything was plain sailing. But now this is going to cause a problem. He still may clear up, he's going to leave the double. And I do expect him to get it. But this isn't the way that Tom would have liked to clear the table. Yeah, one shot, he's put one on the cushion and two together. Everything had a pocket, now he's digging a bit deeper. Good bit of queuing there. Need to be a little bit careful here. He could, this cue ball could get away from him. All depends how straight he is on the double. I think he has a slight angle, so he's, he's just okay. Soft little stun onto the yellow. Doesn't want to screw it because he could snooker himself. Nicely played there from Tom. And you have to say, he's been a little bit fortunate in this rack. Not what he wanted to do, but the end product is Tom Cousins. It's going to be 3-2 behind. 3-2 behind and has the break in the next frame. So we're back on serve if you're keeping it tracked that way. Get some success off his own break. Oh, Very hammered. Good break. Very good break there from Tom. Good control. Deserved a ball and deserves a good, a good split there. <coughs> Not as easy as you first think. I think the yellow at the nearest the eight ball to the left of the eight ball does pass it. If it does, then the yellows all go. If that yellow doesn't, then a little bit more work. Yeah, and that's not Tom's best shot. If you can't see that yellow, that is a real poor shot from Tom there. Because he'd love to get rid of the bottom yellows to the cue ball is closest to. Well, is he on it? I don't think he is. He's having to take the other one. congested at the top there but he's having a very good look the way he wants to go about those three around the eight ball yeah he'd, lo he'd love to get rid of that yellow that's next to the eight ball to the left of it just about perfect he definitely needs to be a little bit careful needs good control of that cue ball here He can play the gap to get on the yellow by the eight ball. The problem with that is that he may well be leaving an angle that makes it difficult to get on the eight ball. So I mean, if he, if he can't get straight enough just to drop it in. Yeah, it looks just about perfect here. And if he can land straight, it's two simple shots. Yeah, that's just about perfect. Just roll the yellow in straight on the eight ball. It's going to be three all. Yeah, he could get very straight on it. Very nice. Well worked out after a tricky first shot here for Tom Cousins. And a break clearance ties the scores up. Looking to add another. Oh, last ball <laughs> rolling. The definition of last ball rolling there for Cowboys. Nearly jumped the cue ball off the table. He's been a little bit unlucky because 
but first glance you know that he's got to go reds he has to go reds where does the eight pole go it only goes in the center pocket i think he can see the red nearest the right center pocket or the, the one just below it so reds shouldn't be a problem to go he certainly can but he need to leave the red that is closest to now to last to get on the eight ball and that's a very good shot there from carl it's imperative that he leaves that red to last and carl knows that can he pot this roll the one in the center I think it's a little bit thin for me. I think I'd personally be putting the other one in the middle, one up the cushion, one in the top left-hand corner, come down the table and leave the half-ball angle for the red that it's closest to now. I don't think I'd be playing this shot right now. But it's all personal preference. Yeah, I certainly think this is a way... Well, that's not a great shot from Carl. Needed a, a nice angle there. He's okay. He can pot this and just get the white off the cushion. Pot the red in the top left-hand corner pocket. Come down the table. And he wants to leave that cue ball right in the middle of the table. So he's got a perfect angle to get in his last red. Nice shot there from Carl. So he basically wants a cue ball in between where the red is potting and the red that's on the cushion, bang in line with them two. That's roughly where he wants it. Oh, that's not good. That's too much angle. That is too much angle. This is a tough shot now. And he turned it down because he didn't like it before. This is much tougher. I do fancy him to get it, but it's a lot more tougher. Nope. Yeah, and that was a, a real poor shot there from Carl. He should have been better on that red. Left too much angle and that's why he's missed it. It was a strange positional shot to get onto it because it looked like he just needed that little tracer running side to track down the right line towards it and he played it fairly plain. Yeah, he needed a bit of top left hand spin to get the cue ball closer to the red. Met the pot a little bit easier. And now Tom has got these to go 4-3 in front. And the reds aren't in the way at all. Just getting in amongst those ones around the triangle area. Pick them all apart. Yeah, Tom doesn't have much to do here. These are pretty simple for somebody of Tom's standard. That's a little bit short. He won't be happy with that. Can he pot this yellow in the middle and just run into the black softly? If he can, it's perfect. I'm not sure that's what he was playing for, though. It was a strange positional shot. Back in good shape, but... I don't think either player has quite got it on a string right now. Yeah, that's certainly not what he played for. He, he was trying to get on the red, uh, the yellow on the cushion. But nice little angle now. Just stun over the side cushion. Doesn't want to be straight. Just wants to leave a little angle. Just about perfect. Back in front. Wow, just look at them. Quite fortunate. It didn't hit them great. But just look at the way they've come out. That cue ball could have easily got kissed in that corner pocket. How do you like them? These are basically unmissable. It looks tricky in the bottom left-hand corner, but it really isn't. Yeah, he's going to pot the yellow in the centre pocket first shot. 
yellow in the top, yellow in the middle, come down, play the the plant softly, and then this frame's all over. I'll be absolutely shocked if Tom doesn't pop the yellow in the middle first shot. Wow, I cannot believe he's not putting the yellow in the middle first shot. Doesn't make a massive difference, but it was so easy if you played that other one. Can't be straight here or past straight. Another poor shot from Tom. Had to finish short of the straight there. Yeah, and that's why you play the other one first, because you guaranteed the perfect angle. Absolutely guaranteed. Well, this shot now, don't get me wrong, it still should clear up. Top right and spin. Perfect position. It made it a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. I know if that was somebody like Mikkel, he would be fuming there with that shot. With his OCD, as he likes to, to tell us. clearance that never looked in doubt from the minute oh now he's going back to the the ball on the, the hand on the rail but he was saying it was to do with just sort of the, the way he was queuing and he didn't feel like he could go with hand on the rail like he didn't ha quite have the confidence and the better he was playing the more he was playing he was starting to feel this break yeah and he didn't in that break great but they've come out okay a couple of tricky shots does he play the plant first and roll into the yellows needs to play slowly he plays this hard, it can go wrong. He has to play this combination slowly and just flick the yellow to the cushion. Well, he's missed the yellow. Yellow ball's in play. This isn't good now for Carl. He's got to get rid of that yellow that is closest to on the next shot after this next one because it's going to cause massive problems if he doesn't. Cal can choose here to pot this yellow and play either yellow into the top right hand corner pocket and I think that is a better shot because it's guaranteed position and you wouldn't expect him to miss a pot. He'd love to be able to pot the the top one of the two. Well, he's played the cannon. Not a bad shot. He's not perfect. Depends on the angle, doesn't it? If he's got the angle to get out, it's good. I don't think he has. I think he can just pot this and then play the young, long yellow, screw off the side cushion, back across for the yellow in the centre pocket. Or he could top this. Well, he's screwing it. Needs it to slide by. Needs it to slide yeah. by. And I didn't like the shot he's played there. It, you just got to give yourself a chance there. And he's landed in the worst possible position he could land in. He can still pot this in the top left-hand corner. Pass the two reds, but it's very difficult. You know you're on commentary with Chris Melling when a player full ball snookers themselves and he says yeah he can still pot this <laughs> casually as you like yeah and it, 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 it was not easy but I expect Carl to get very close to this no I love it because it's uh, the insight into the way you think that you're still still not happy but you still believe that this can go in and it so often does with you yeah, maybe he can't come off the side cushion yeah and that's uh, you have to feel a little bit for Carl there I mean he's a little bit unlucky to be touching the eight ball but you've just got to give yourself the shot give yourself the option one more turn of the ball and he would have been on it I'm a little bit surprised he didn't play your your choice of just dropping on those one of those two to the top right do it without having to move anything yeah I think he had to play that just give yourself a chance of potting the ball because he's such a great shot maker is Carl that he's never going to miss that shot you know granted the position wasn't easy but 
again just give yourself the option you've got to go down fighting give yourself a chance nice shot there by Tom and you can see how confident Tom's feeling there after that shot the game is so so easy when you're so confident but believe me when you're struggling it's one of the hardest games in the world I can believe that bit one thing's for sure Tom is playing with a lot of confidence at the moment works very hard on the practice table and obviously winning breeze breeds confidence and he's done a bunch of it nice clearance here from Tom to go 6-3 in front this batch has completely turned. And at this moment in time, Tommy's getting it. Oh. Paul's going in all over the place. Not the greatest leave though. It isn't. But if Tom wants to, he can choose reds. Pot the red at the top end of the table. Play the red onto the yellow where the eight ball is for me he's won the match one of those where you don't have to do it in one visit take control of the frame oh he's going yellows he wants to do it in one visit and he may well do now lovely double and they're all there still has to play a couple of good shots here is he going to play the yellow into the top left hand corner pocket well the way he's feeling you wouldn't bet against him. Can see why he wants to. Difficult to get back on it nicely into the middle. This isn't easy. But he's made it look easy. That really is brilliant. Fantastic from Tom Cousins. to say that this is a, a brilliant performance from Tom he was up against it but he's dug deep two more balls and the eight ball and he's into the pro series three final he just rolled his eyes where he saw the line of where that finished because I don't think he was planning on coming down the table I'm not sure he can do that now Oh, he's tried. I thought he'd just drop that in and leave the left-hand side of the, the eight ball. Well, he's landed on it, I think, just about. Yeah, just wants to clip this thin. Touch a left-hand spin. Just make sure you don't go anywhere near that eight ball. It's very tight. He can see it. Brilliant performance from Tom Cousins.